as I mentioned, one of the first things that you need to keep in mind is the day you start using your aql, it is Quranically established, you will have to become part of a minority. Allah in the Quran, how many times do you see him saying, majority of people do not use their intellect. You know what that means? What that means is the day you start using your intellect, you will have to part ways with the majority. With the world that you see around you, there can be no meeting of the minds between you and the rest of the world now. Because you are using your aql and they are not using their aql. Majority of the people in this world, Allah is telling you, are not using their intellects the way they should be using them. And so if they're not using their intellect, and you on the other hand are using your intellect, then can there be a meeting of the minds? There can't be a meeting of the minds. And that's why you find all the prophets of God, not only are they rejected and shunned by the majority, but they're also, another thing that you have to be prepared for when you choose to swim against the tide is to be labeled. Everyone who swims against the tide has to be labeled. Whether it be Ibrahim alayhi salam, whether it be Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam, they tried to project him and portray him as a traitor who was rising against a legitimate government. Everyone was labeled in history who tried to flow against or who tried to swim against the current. So you have to get used to that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you in the Quran, مَا يَأْتِيهِمْ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا كَانُوا بِهِ يستهزئون. Never did we send them a messenger except that they made mockery of him. They ridiculed him. So you have to get used to this and you have to get used to being in the minority. So these are the things that you need to prepare yourself for if you're going to walk on this path. It's a lonely path. It's a challenging path. It's a difficult path. But brothers and sisters, this is the aim of this Aza. When we narrate the events of Karbala, when we see how Imam al Hussein, together with his small band of followers, stood firm in the face of that tsunami that came in front of them, it gives us courage, it gives us inspiration. We feel like becoming more like them. And then we realize that yes, swimming against the tide is not easy. It is very difficult, it is very challenging. But if you set your mind to it, you can do it. And really, if you are a follower of the Imam, you have no option. Just as your Imam says, I had no option.